Hey, what's up my beautiful people? Oscar here from the London Yard Kitchen and today I'm gonna show you how to do this lovely delicious curry goat. You know we always combine music and food together. That's how we do it in the London Yard Kitchen. Saying so I'll show you all the ingredients you need to do this delicious curry goat. So just sit back and check out the recipe. Okay, so we have the goat already cleaned, so we'll add some about two teaspoons of oil, then some vegetable seasoning, some all purpose seasoning, so teaspoon each, um, some garlic powder, teaspoon, a teaspoon of um, paprika, a teaspoon of jerk seasoning that carry a nice flavor and a teaspoon mushroom seasoning and then we'll add a teaspoon of better pack curry so you just rub all the seasoning together with get it nice and spread right across and you should finish with something like that looking lovely and you know we have to add some pimento beans so what we'll do is we'll add some chopped some finely chopped garlic and ginger so we'll fry this together with the oil to give you that nice flavor and then you'll also add about two teaspoon of curry to get with that in the pot and spin it around a little you fry them up together and then you will add the curry goat or the seasoned goat you don't need to stir it around now just cover the pot down on a medium heat stove for about 40 minutes it will spring some water and then you will end up with something like this you turn it around turn it over stir it and at this moment what we will do we'll add some coconut milk about one tin of coconut milk we don't we won't use any water at this moment just coconut milk give it a nice stir and then you'll cover it down slow cooked for about another 40 minutes because you know it's goat and it's a little bit tough to cook if you have pressure cooker you could cook it in your pressure cooker but I don't have a pressure cooker so this is how I cook it and look at this after 40 minutes this is how it looks looking lovely yeah almost cooked so we'll cover it back down for about 10 minutes in the meantime we'll prepare the vegetable so you have garlic we have onion we've got carrot potatoes sweet pepper spring onion and thyme so we'll chop all of this which we're gonna add to the, the pot so this is the pot now um as you can see most of the liquid liquid reduced because it's been steaming and at this time you could take a taste to see if the meat has cooked or how tender it is so I'll taste it and I can tell you it's tender it's cooked so we'll add the chopped vegetable and give it a nice stir make sure it's evenly spread right through and look at this look at all those flavors look at all those colors you want to smell this right now you would really want to smell this lovely lovely look at that man so what we'll do we'll add some boiling water that's very important so we add some boiling water and a whole scotch bonnet and what we'll do to enhance all these flavors try this one cock 
one cock full of Ray Nephew rum, white rum. Try this and you will get flavors popping. This is an old trick from my granddad who, blessing me, is passed on. Trust me, you do this and you get a proper flavor. So after about half an hour simmering, you will end up with something like this. Look at how thick the gravy is. Look at how colorful it is and I can tell you it tastes beautiful. And the scotch bonnet is still um, whole. Try not to burst the scotch bonnet because we already have scotch bonnet in, inside of it. So it will be too hot. And look at that flavor, flavor some beautiful, delicious. Trust me, you will love this. So I hope you enjoy this, and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It will much appreciated.